The Pizza and Home is full of boxes. There are piles of clothes, bins, and property stacked from floor to ceiling. But the Harlingen family who's renting here isn't moving. Deborah says they've been forced out due to a fountain of feces. It went. Deborah says this is the aftermath from a November 8th sewer line flush along Cottonwood Street by Harlingen Waterworks System employees. The black is human waste. It filled their tub, stained their mattresses, and left the floors covered in what can only be described as pure filth. I've never smelt something so toxic. It's very upsetting. Not only because she has no timeline for when HWWS will reportedly pay for the repairs, but her daughter Laura is just in from San Antonio for the holidays. The two are sleeping in a hotel. It's upsetting. About a month ago, I reported on the exact same thing happening here along Breedlove Street. Many of the victims say they still haven't gotten those repairs. Harlingen Waterworks General Manager Daryl Gunn told me back then that his department took full responsibility, called it an accident, and said his insurance company would be paying for all of the repairs. But the victims this time around say it's no accident. It's incompetence. There has to be a step one, two, three, four, five, and obviously they missed a step. Damage estimates are in the thousands of dollars. The people who live next door say their home is even worse. <laughs> Just look at their photos. An elderly woman with a medical condition lives inside. Tonight, she's with relatives. Two families kicked out of their homes. It's traumatic. Both are left wondering if they'll be home for the Christmas holiday.